people talk about organic development, which of course is the core. People talk about M&A, but sort of not as much is talked about how much enterprise value gets created by partnering effectively. Um, so that's the spirit with which I think about open AI. Um, so th there's a whole lot we do. So when you say outsourcing, who's outsourcing what to whom is the real question, right? So we build the compute. Uh, they then use the compute to do the training. We then take that, put it into products. And so in some sense, uh, it's a partnership that is based on each of us really reinforcing mm -hmm. what everyone, uh, each other does. Uh, and then ultimately being competitive in the marketplace. Uh, there are, there's room for, I call it horizontal specialization. There is room for vertical specialization. Sometimes some business models are in vogue. Uh, I'm a big believer in horizontal specialization, uh, especially if you can't vertically integrate everything. Do you have to worry about being over-indexed and over-reliant on a company, a partner, whose ultimate you know, goals and mission might be different from Microsoft's? Look, I mean, you don't go into any partnership. First of all, there is independence in a partnership. There are two different companies uh, answerable to a, two sets of different stakeholders with different interests. So therefore, uh, you have to then create a commercial partnership in it uh, that is mutually beneficial. So that's why I think partnerships where you enter into partnerships where one side is trying to take advantage of the other is not long-term stable. Uh, but if two partners can, uh, and that's sort of why I go back to the history uh, of enterprise value that was created, uh, with partnerships that at least I've been involved in across my career of, uh, at Microsoft. So yes, I think uh, you have to sort of, I feel very, very good about the construct we have. Um, I feel at the same time very capable of uh, controlling our own destiny. Uh, so it's not like uh, that we are single-threaded even today on uh, Azure. It, and, and, and this is not about even open AI. It's all about reflection of what our customers want. Every customer who comes to Azure, for example, in fact, our own products, it's not about one model. We care deeply about having the best frontier model, which happens to be, for example, today, GPT-4. Uh, but we also have Mixtral as, uh, uh, as a model as a service inside of Azure. We use uh, Llama in places. We have Pi, which is the best SLM from Microsoft. Uh, so there is going to be diversity of capability and models that we will have, that we will invest in. Uh, but we will partner very, very deeply with OpenAI. What is the right operating model for a company like OpenAI. I mean, currently it's a capped for-profit company owned by a nonprofit, a very unorthodox arrangement, probably contributed to some of the drama and instability in November. Have they figured it out yet? Are you comfortable now that you've got a partner with a stable operating model? You're talking to Sam later. I am, and I but, will ask him yeah, that as so well. He, I'm, I'm asking know, he, for your opinion. No, he's the, he, he, he needs to answer that question, and his board, obviously, and I, I'm sure they're working through it. Look, I, 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 I always say this, which is we invested, we partnered when they were whatever they were or, and whatever they are today, right, in terms of uh, being a capped profit, non-profit, what have you. Um, so I'm comfortable. I have no issues with any structure. What we just want is good stability uh, and and as I said, we don't even need, like I'm not even interested in a board seat or we don't need, we definitely don't have control. We have no, uh, we just want to have a good commercial partnership and we want to be investors in the entity in even uh, the way they're structured. So uh, what I would like is good governance and real stability. Mm -hmm. That's it. You have a, a board observer non-voting. We were, I was joking backstage, it feels like having somebody at the back, on the back of the bus without a seatbelt. Yeah, I mean, it, it, so I, it doesn't matter to me, right? I mean, the, the board seat is not uh, the critical path at all for us. What is most important, as I said, is we just want a board that cares about open AI uh, on the open AI side. And that's all we care. I mean, like, that's all we can ask for. Um, and we just want stability in the partnership uh, so that we can then continue to invest in it. That's it.